Hey everybody, welcome to Body Bags. It's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and it is week 141. And it also happens to be um, Friday the 13th, which is awesome. So all of us horror fans are rejoicing, watching our favorite uh, Friday movies, or wherever you want to watch, whatever. So I decided to look through the list, and I'm like, wow, uh, we haven't done many Friday movies. So since it's Friday the 13th, I might as well do a Friday movie. And this one I am actually doing is one of my favorites. I know a lot of people do not like this movie. Um, whatever, it's my personal opinion. I, I find it fun. It's got a few of my favorite kills in it. And that is Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. <laughs> yes, you have uh, Kane Hodder reprising his role as Jason. And he has takes place after Part 6. After Tommy Jarvis uh, chains him in the water and kills him, supposedly kills him, we end up with part seven now with a young uh, Tina. Tina has these telekinetic powers. She is brought back to camp with her mother and her psychologist doctor. And uh, they start trying to work with her, you know, to help control her powers. Well, with one session, she, just, she ends up awakening Jason by accident. And Jason breaks loose from his watery grave. And of course, Ghost starts going on a killing spree and starts killing campers and the partying kids next door. So now Tina's got to warn the kids and figure out how to use her psychic powers. And her doctor's trying to, you know, chime in and try to cash on this uh, her powers here. All right. My thoughts on this film. Me, I said, I enjoy this movie. Uh, I find it a lot of fun. It's pretty much Jason versus Carrie in this whole type of movie. Um, yeah, a lot of cool uh, special effects happening with the telekinetic powers, how she can move certain like cables and floorboards and the mask on Jason. Now, I'll probably give some spoilers in this. This movie's from 1988, so a lot of us horror fans have seen all the Fridays, so... If I spoil it for you, too bad. Uh, again, some of my favorite kills are in this movie. Uh, the one where Jason picks up a toy horn and throws it into a girl's socket. Just plunks it in her. Uh, this also has the famous uh, sleeping bag scene where Jason picks up a girl in the sleeping bag and slams her against the tree, which is hysterical. Uh, I said Kane Hodder reprises his role again as Jason Voorhees and... Pretty insane. Again, this is the second installment of the zombie Jason. Because after part six, he already becomes a zombie, so he pretty much stays as zombie monstrosity. Uh, a lot of good kills, you know, got your good tit scenes. All in all, f me, fun flick from the 80s. I, again, I know a lot of people dislike this movie, but come on. You got some other films that should really dislike. <coughs> she goes to hell. X. But actually, I can still watch those. I enjoy those films as well. I can watch the whole series. And there's pretty much not one in the series I don't really like. Except for, I think it was um, Jason Goes to Hell. Or it's X, I don't remember. Or the remake. Those three are my top low ones. But anyway. Jason Goes... Uh, New Blood. So I guess now you have the, the, the battles between the two. High body count. Yeah, what can you say? It's fucking Jason and Crystal Lake, again, going on a murder spree, killing everybody. Yep. That's it. That's new blood. There's nothing to say about bad about it. Uh, the ending is pretty cool. I like how, uh, again, Carrie versus Jason occurs. How she uses a lot of the psychic powers to fight him off. Fun flick. Again, um, if you've never seen it, what's wrong with you? Watch it. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this little review was helpful. Helpful, Kind of hard to review a film pie everyone has seen. But again, it is Friday the 13th. Why not review a Friday movie? All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, check everyone else's out on Body Bags. Please like and subscribe on the Body Bags channel. Thanks very much, guys. Have a good one. Peace.